Oh, wow, you're still here. Alright then, in that case, hello, and welcome back to the tutorial. Uh, here, I'm going to actually where there are, well, there are, well, two branches that you could take. <laughs> there are two branches you could take. You could work on style, or you could work on mapping, or you could work on both at once. You get bored with one and move on to another. So, right now, I'll... Oh, silly. Alright, right now, I am going to... Totally didn't intend that. I'm going to show you how to map, or at least add some style to your map. Now, uh, this looks kind of boring. I mean, I love the Kagamine twins, I love my, you know, background, my default background and everything, but uh, it just doesn't fit. So I prepared, oops, a few things for my map to make it a little more, uh, more I like, the way I like it. So, Edge of Green. I, I made a background on Paint.net. Paint.net is a great free, uh, you know, free, I'm being stupid, I'm forgetting what it's called, free, uh, image editor there, silly me. So I made this just basically off of making lines. I made a line here and made a cloud, made a cloud, typed in some, you know, text to say, hey, I made this, and I added Ott, who is one of the characters from Radiant Historia, and I think that for the edge of green, she fits. That, or I could put Marco, which I usually call What's-His-Face, because I usually forget him. Anyway, uh, background. Yes, this is what I want for my background. This is where I use storyboard, by the way, but I I'll go into that on another video. Alright then, I got that as my background, and my beats, they look, well, like my default beats. They look like Kagamine Twin beats, which is really awesome, except that I don't want that for this. So, I also prepared a bunch of stuff for this. <laughs> so, uh, this is for the numbers, because, you know, each beat has numbers on it, and the score is measured in numbers, and, you know, all, all of that useful stuff. <laughs> oh, silly. Alright, and all of that useful stuff. Commas, dots, percent. And then there's the hit circle, and then there's the hit circle overlay, reverse arrow, yada, yada, yada. And so I'll just copy and paste to this. Uh, and then I'll here. I made all of these by just taking, going into paint.net, taking, uh, what is it called? Uh, Times New Roman, and then, you know, just sort of doing what I do with it. I totally did not intend to add that. Delete. Yes, move to the recycle bin. Alright then, so... You'll notice that no parent changes have been made yet. Made yet. Made it. Huh. But, yes, I want to save changes. Go back into this, and look, the beats all look like I want them to look like. They're sexy, and they know it. Alright. Actually, for this, in this case, I should probably edit the hit circles, because they're black, and the last map that I had, you know, that black was good, but... Uh, I think white would look better, just normal white bout border. So I think if I just get rid of the hit circle overlay, it'll go back to the default. Yep, delete that file, exit, yes. It'll go back to the default, which is just plain white. But that doesn't look right either, so I'll probably edit later and make it look good and all that. So, let's see, what else can I go over about it? Well, that, well that's really it. I mean... You have to look up what all of these mean, you know, like defaults, what zero is what zero is, default one is what one is, you know, they all have their own, you know, hit circle, reverse arrow, score X. You've got to look up what all of them are, and there are other things you can add, like you can make special spinners, which mine is the Kagamine Twins again, but uh, you can add special spinners, or, you know, a bunch of other things. I suppose there's one more thing I could go into. You see the slider in the border, how it's white? Well, I found that you can change that, too. I mean, that, that doesn't look, you know, changeable. I mean, it, it looks weird if you just have a black hit circle and then have a black, have white edges. Except in a few rare cases, which... But, uh, let's, let's not go into that. Uh, da, 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 you just go into this, and you should look up a tutorial on this, but look up how to open something in Notepad, or you could go up here and go to Open Osu in Notepad. And you get this. Now you can change. Now there's a bunch of stuff here. I, you have to look up what all of it means. But th this looks familiar, right? And then this, and then this. However, 
colors. Now, you won't see this one on here, but you can add this one on. Slider, border. Make sure that you have the cap there, that's important. Colon, 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. And then, file. Is it? Yep, I'm sure. again, and, ah, uh, silly me. They didn't save my slider. Sad face. Huh, it didn't change. I must have did something wrong. That or I didn't save this right. That or I'm being silly again. You know, completely possible. I'll have, oh, ha, ha, I spelled slider wrong. Okay, that, that's, <laughs> uh, that was stupid of me. <laughs> And that didn't change again. So I'm clearly doing something wrong. Let me copy paste to this and then figure out what I'm doing wrong. Except that now it's really obvious. I'm doing a bunch of things wrong. That's what I'm doing. I'm making a tutorial and that's wrong. All right, exit. And now we can see if it actually took effect. Did it take effect? No, it didn't. I didn't do, I did something wrong again. Perhaps I'm editing the wrong file. Oh. That's probably why. Because I haven't really made a difficulty file yet. I haven't really made a difficulty. Well, that's an issue. Anyway, that's about all I can go over with style. You can change the spinners, you can change the slider colors and hit circles. Uh, and... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's about all I can go over right now. I hope you like the background, and I hope you learned a little something from this vid. I, I can always hope. Well, see you guys later.